All right, today we're doing the uh, area perimeter, and there should be some simple things that you should be able to do without a problem, like the rectangle ones should be a piece of cake for you. You shouldn't have any issue with these at all. So perimeter. Perimeter, remember, that's just length. So this particular one's in millimeters. And I'm just adding the four sides. Okay? So I know this side is 4 and this side is 10. So it's 4 plus 10 is 14, plus 4 plus 10 is another 4. 14, so that's 28. Okay, piece of cake. Area. Area is length times width, right? So I take my width, my length, and I multiply them. 4 times 10 is 40. And then millimeters times millimeters, that's where we get the squared from. Okay? So, those are pretty easy. What I want to focus on is these. They are regular shapes. Uh, for some reason, students seem to have a hard time on them often. So, perimeter. If I'm doing perimeter, uh, then right off the bat, I'm like, well, 2 plus 5 plus, huh, I don't know that side, plus 8, whoops, I know 8, plus 10 plus, I don't know that side. How can I find the perimeter if I'm missing two sides? So what we have to do is deduce what those sides are. So let's look all the way across the top is 8 meters. Going across the bottom, it's coming straight down like a rectangle. Going across the bottom, here's 5. So what does this have to be? It's got to equal 8 because they're the same length. So this mysterious side is going to be 3. Look at the side. Going all the way down, I got 10. Here's just 2. What does this have to be? Because this plus this has got to equal 10, and it is 8. Now, I go around and find the perimeter is going to be a piece of cake. So, uh, let's see. 3 plus 5 is 8, just like the top. 8, 9, 10. Uh, plus 8, 16. Plus 8, 24. Plus 10, 34. Now, let me check that another way. Since this is 8, this whole bottom is 8, this is 10, this whole side is 10, I could do 8 plus 10 is 18, 18 plus 18, I must have made a mistake, I got 36. So let's go back and check it the other way one more time. 3, uh, three plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and that's where I was off, I think I got 8 before. 10 plus 8 is 18, 10 plus 8 is 18 again, and there we go, 36. All right, now, that's not the hard part. The hard part is finding the area. Because if I'm doing length times width, why well, I got this chunk missing right here. That's preventing me from doing a length times width of a 10 by 18. So what I have to do is instead of finding the area for one figure, find the area of two figures that you know you can find. Okay? So there's two ways to do this. I can cut down like that, and I can have a skinny rectangle and a shorter rectangle. Or I can cut this right here, and this gives me a small rectangle and then an 8 by 8 square. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to do the 8 by 8 square. So 8 times 8 is 64 meters squared. 2 times 3 is 6 meters squared. So together, this is 70 meters squared. Okay? You can't find the area of the whole thing. Chop it up. Make two figures that you can find the area of. Um, there's another way to do this, but I'm afraid that I'll just lose people if I do that. So let's go over one more time real quick. And I'm going to do this. Now this 4 right here is going to this side. All right? So I got 6, here's 4, so what does this have to be right here? It has to be 2. This is 7, 
Here's five of the seven, so this also has to be two. So I'm doing six plus two is eight, plus four is 12, plus five is 17, 18, 19, 26 meters for the perimeter. So let me check. Uh, let me check that, doing that another way. All right. So this whole side is 6, this whole side is 7. So 7 plus 6 is 13, double that, 26. All right, two ways. Now, the other thing I have to do is I have to cut up my figure. So how am I going to cut up my figure? I'm thinking I'm just going to go down like this. This gives me a 2 by 4, which is 8 meters squared, and a 2 by 7, which is 14 meters squared. So 8 plus 14 is 22 meters squared. So I've got area, got perimeter, I cut it up. The other way of looking at that problem is if I cut it going this way. Now this gives me a 5 by 2, 10 meters squared. This gives me a 6 by 2, 12 meters squared, 10 plus 12, 22 meters squared. Okay, that's what these problems are today work through them. Um, you should be able to get through uh, all the problems. There's uh, nine on a page and there's four pages. 36 problems. Uh, you'll be close, but work hard on it.